All right. Let me welcome my first guest today. My first guest is Blake Horton, who I always talk about as Blake underscore 201. Blake, is it nice to have a last name? <laughs> um, you know, people on the street, they call me Blake, Blake 201. Uh-huh. Uh, Horton, Horton is the less popular thing people call me. I know. That's what I'm saying, because I think <laughs> of you as Blake underscore 201, but obviously you have a full name. Everybody, well, everybody knows me as my Instagram name, so yeah. it is what it is. No complaints. Is it fun for you to be known as the guy in great shape who eats one giant, um, what seems like indulgent meal each day, which I know are built around your macros and, and what your body needs and, and deliberate in what you choose to, to eat at those 4,000 to 5,000 calories in one sitting. But, uh, mm-hmm. but you usually are in a bow tie and no shirt and usually big Jenny <laughs> is with you or often big Jenny who's small. Her name is ironic or an yeah. oxymoron because she's so tiny, big Jenny. And so um, is it fun for you to get recognized as that guy? Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, when I started, um, I was eating shirtless years and years before Instagram. Uh, it was just more comfortable. Plus, I would always drop food on myself. And I was like, why am I going to put a shirt on just to like go in the kitchen and eat and ruin a good shirt? And I walked around the, the house shirtless. So when I started Hilarious. making that, eating videos. I mean, I was just already shirtless and I've been doing it for many years now. And what made you want to start doing these eating videos? Cause they're great. By the way, they're great. It's performance art as well as you really do have this Blake diet. And by the way, you can go to the Blake And I know that it works and I've talked intermittent fasting on the show a lot. And if you do it correctly, it does work. But what made you decide to start putting these videos up? Well, back in 2014, when Instagram only had 15 second videos, I couldn't, I tried to make one and it was a disaster. You couldn't see anything in 15 seconds and people didn't think I was really eating the meals I was posting. And I forget exactly when they switched to make Instagram videos a minute long or or give you that ability. And at first I was like, this is stupid. But like two days into it, I said to Jenny, I'm like, oh, man, I can finally do an eating video. And I did maybe it was probably my second or third video that went viral at the time. It was (laughs) it just went crazy. And even that day, like I went I went to uh, the supermarket and people were like, I saw you on some site and hilarious. So. I knew I had something at that point, and I, I was super nervous after that point when I was posting on the internet because I realized, oh my God, I had like 2,000 Instagram followers at the time, so I didn't think anybody was going to see it, and now I'm realizing like a lot of people can see this stuff, so it's kind of nerve-wracking at first, but yeah, you know, it's just par for the course. Well, because you have 320 or something followers on Instagram, 320,000 followers, I mean, on Instagram, and that's only those people are watching the videos, but a lot of people who don't follow you are also watching the videos. Oh, I have a ton of lurkers. Most of the time, yeah. most of the time somebody recognizes me on the street. Um, they, they call me by name. They call me Blake or Blake 201 and yeah. they start talking to me. And then they're like, you know, I don't follow you, but blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and they start right. Isn't there a part videos. of you that's like, why not just follow me, you jackass? Uh, I did. I did ask, one person, some guy was buying me shots at a bar. He's like, yeah, I don't really follow, I don't follow you, but he's like, I love what you do. And he's buying me shots. I'm like, well, you're buying me shots. I'm like, why are you yeah. following me? And he's like, he's like, oh, I'm just not into the intermittent fasting thing. I'm like, what is, you know what I think it is? Yeah. I think my posts, number one, make people hungry a lot of times. Yes. And, and number two, if people aren't really happy with their diet and, Let's face it, 99% of the people in the world aren't really 100% happy with their diet. Of course. Um, seeing me do what I do, um, people might think I'm genetically gifted. A lot of people think my meals are just straight junk food, and they kind of probably get jealous or, or mad that, yes. I'm, that I'm doing this when anybody could really do what I'm doing uh, based on their own TDEE and uh, I, I should say total daily energy expenditure and goals. 
Yeah, so talk about that because you're not a nutritionist, you're not a dietitian, and you're just somebody who's very enthusiastic about fitness and mm -hmm. anecdotally knows that what you do works and so you're sharing it. And that's sort of how I am. I mean, I do Weight Wednesday every week. I'm not a nutritionist. I'm not a registered dietitian, but mm -hmm. I lost a lot of weight and I maintain the loss and I work really hard at not being fat. I mean, that's – and you too were a little bit fat. Yeah, I lost 60 pounds after turning 30 years old. Yeah. Um, that, that's how Amazing. the whole thing started. Uh, I was doing the small meals spread out throughout the day, um, watching the clock constantly hungry, waiting for my next meal. My social life kind of sucked at the time. And, um, I read some stuff about intermittent fasting at the time in various places. And I decided to give it a shot. I mean, because I was just so sick of the Tupperware meals, that, that lifestyle. And right. I gave it a shot and I'm an extremist, so I went from one extreme. I went from, like, five meals a day, protein shakes and snacks, all the way down to, like, one meal a day. And yeah. Scientifically counting my nutrients. And, I mean, testing one little thing out at a time, but it was all working. And I just went to the other extreme with it. And I don't get hungry anymore. I mean, haven't been hungry in years, really. You separate the difference between mental and physical hunger. Now you're enjoying massive meals all the carbs, uh, delicious food. Well, and I should say my, my meals are not as sugary as everybody thinks they are. They're not as fatty as, as everybody thinks they are. People are like, I could just smell the grease. And I'm like, my meals aren't even greasy. <laughs> but Yeah, no, I watch um, your meals and I, and I actually, yeah. I guess, cause I'm a dieter. I can, t I, I get, I can figure out your calories. I, the tough part for me to figure them out is sort of the amounts you're eating, but the individual mm -hmm. items, I know the fat content or the, um, sort of carb content, fruity pebbles mm -hmm. or fruity pebbles. Like it's, it's yeah. I mean, you well, do well, like that's... sweet stuff. I do crack up. I do laugh at the waffles and the cereal hot dogs and, um, you did something with bananas recently, like a banana. Banana what dog. Was it on like a burger? Like no, it was bananas on oh, a hamburger, maybe. Yeah, we might have made like a PB and J, um, like banana burgers. Something like that. Yeah. We like. And to I was like, "What is savory. going on?" Yeah, I was laughing. I was like, "They are nuts," but it's cute. <laughs> and you and Big Jenny are adorable. Is it? Is does Big Jenny ever say to you why do so many fo people follow you? And and by the way, she's got a following. She's got like forty thousand people following her. But is she ever like, dude, how come you have all the followers? No, no, not at all by any by any means. I mean, it's I I created the Blake Diet. I cre I was the first one doing these eating videos yes. in this fashion with the intermittent fasting and flexible dieting. Um, she wasn't doing the diet then uh, when she met me. Well, she met me. I had no Instagram followers, but she saw my meals and she was kind of disgusted. Um, <laughs> <laughs> she's like, but after hanging out with me and then, you know, watching me eat and whatever, she started to get jealous. And I mean, I, I taught her how to um, track macros and yeah. do things. And, and eventually she actually watched my informative videos and, um, at the time and she started intermittent fasting and not even telling me and then she told me like i was suspicious so she told me like a couple weeks into it or two three four weeks into it whatever it was um but then since she started intermittent fasting we've been doing a lot of meals together yes. um it's really so sweet. she's not she's not like why do you i'm I'm surprised she has less of a following because she's 103 pounds and oh my god I mean, she she's this tiny tiny person <laughs> in excellent shape she looks really strong and um and yeah and she eats not as much as you because she would burst but uh but no, yeah she's she like half my things. weight and her meals yeah her meals are like half the size right which <laughs> makes sense yeah yeah so so your website the blake diet and you you have a youtube as well right yes i do um the youtube is blake underscore 201 just like my instagram okay. right and and facebook uh i have facebook i'm not incredibly active on Facebook. Um, but the, the Blake diet.com is something I, I launched because people kept asking for more and more. Um, yes. I had, I had a how to properly begin intermittent fasting video. People wanted recipes, people wanted advanced tutorials, um, all types of stuff. So I launched the Blake diet.com, which has the recipes, the advanced tutorials. We have, we have a how to get drunk 
while losing fat tutorial. Um, Amazing. How to set up how to set up your New York style pizza night. Um, all types of fun stuff. Because people people want to enjoy life and food and, and drinks and dieting so serious nowadays. And we teach people how to enjoy the pizza and carbs and and your wine or beer or hard alcohol. Whatever it is. Yeah, yeah. Still make progress and yeah. just make the same progress that you would be making. Um, and there's so much in, bad info out there regarding intermittent fasting. So I really yep. like focus on. I focus on maximizing fat loss while minimizing lean mass loss because there's a lot of not not even just intermittent fasting programs, but there's a lot of diets in general which help you bleed weight, and people are so happy that the number is flying down on the scale, but they don't realize they're slowing down their metabolism and of it's course. not all fat that they're losing. Of so course. I have a private Facebook group um, with my members in there. So in addition to the tutorials, members are posting food pictures every day and, and videos. And I, they're doing like my giant donut and giant pizza slice recipes and all types of stuff. And they're just enjoying life and dieting without getting hungry for the first time. So everybody's just super excited. Yeah. And so talk a little bit about what the Blake diet is and also you were on Dr. Oz, which is so cool. He sort of issued a challenge uh, mm -hmm. that he wanted to know what your blood work was going to look like doing this food plan and, and living on the Blake diet. And you mm -hmm. sure did show him, right? <laughs> That's pretty accurate. Um, I, I always get blood work done. I mean, at least once a year and I'm actually healthier than I was when I was overweight. And, right. um, and I've been doing this a while and Dr. Oz, you know, his people reached out to me a couple of times and they finally said, we need to get you on this season. And then right before the show, um, it was like a few days before they said, well, we need to have blood work done. Can you get blood work done tomorrow? So I said, yes, they sent me to a local lab and, um, you know, I was kind of nervous still, even, even though I just had blood work done like the of month course. before that. Oh my gosh, of course. Yeah. Because if you had know known you had to do this, you would have prepared. Absolutely. They're going to dissect every little thing. I know they're going to look for anything. Yes. Um, and <laughs> they called me and they're like, oh, actually, Dr. Oz was really impressed with your blood work. Um, he's very surprised. Yes. And the thing was they wanted to track my sleep, too. And at the time, um, since then, I, I no longer I was working a, a full time job and running the Blake diet, which just launched. Now the Blake diet is my full time job. Of course. Uh, thankfully, that's become my career. Um, yes. But I, ha I had my career that I was just about to leave and the Blake diet. And I had Dr. Oz people contacting me, asking me for videos and, and nutrients on my meals, all this stuff. And they wanted me to record my sleep. I was barely sleeping like the weeks leading up to it. Yes. So that's the one thing he, he, um, he was, he wanted to say, I believe he wanted to say that it was the diet, which was causing me not to sleep, but I literally just had no time to, I was going to sleep at like four or 5 AM getting up for work at like six thirty, seven thirty, you know, and, um, depending on where I had to be that day at work. And, you know, he basically said, you know, you need to get more sleep, but he knew it was because of my busy schedule. So, <clears throat> I mean, couldn't say much there, but Dr. Oz also does, uh, he does intermittent fasting on a very light level, like 12 hour fast. Yes. Well, uh, because so. studies show, studies show that at least 12 hours of fasting has a beneficial impact on your cells. It might not make you lose weight, but it may mm -hmm. help maintain your weight and it does let your body reset. And I think that oh. when you can reset your system, that's really a helpful, a helpful thing. Oh, it does have um, many health benefits. And I was actually, I was actually super surprised. I thought he was going to like, he, since he checked me out fully, he was super nice. He was super cool about everything. And at the end, he like, he co-signed, which was huge. Um, because he, I mean, he, he did his home, his people really did their homework on my diet so yeah well of course they would have that's what they do that's no you know, not that a, makes sense i've i've had shows that wanted me to sign off on just using my using my stuff and didn't yeah, want can't. any info yeah 
No, you're smart. You can't you can't allow that to happen. So so what is the gist of the Blake diet? And and people should go to the and 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 sign up to to get some of the sort of exclusive info and and be a part of the whole Blake diet world. But in a nutshell, how do, what is it? In a nutshell, it's the most flexible intermittent fasting program out there. Um, there's a lot of programs which are super rigid and, you know, they, they tell you, you can't do this. You can't do that. You have to stick to these hours and, and people, everybody has a different lifestyle. Um, everybody have different jobs. I have shift workers. I have, I have women who don't want to work out in their fifties and sixties. You know, I have, I have young men who, who are gym rats and want to work out. So I teach everyone what I do is I teach everyone how to eat fewer yet much larger meals while losing weight and no longer getting hungry um, with the foods they enjoy, which is super important. It has to be the foods you enjoy and getting the proper nutrients. Um, like I said, we also, um, I also focus on maximizing fat loss while minimizing lean mass loss and not screwing up your metabolism. And what's funny is I have a lot of people coming from keto and I tell people, you know, you can do keto on the Blake diet if you want to. It's very flexible. And everyone quits keto after watching the main tutorial. Right. It's, uh, because you, it, right. Because you made it right. You're making it possible for people to eat what they want. Yeah. Um, if they follow this sort of way of doing it, where can they find the intro website? Um, if they just go to the Blake diet.com, there's um, you, you can see some transformations on the homepage. And if you hit the navigation bar, um, there's an FAQ on my website because a lot of people have, have a lot of questions. Like, can I do this if I'm a woman? Can I do this if I'm an athlete? And I mean, the answer is yes. And yes. Uh, there's a lot of bad info out there regarding women and intermittent fasting. And, and I have so many, I have half my members are women with no uh, hormonal issues. And usually that's due to uh, prop, improper nutrition. You're saying they have hormone. You're saying they have hormonal issues. Uh, there's some some info on the internet about how okay. women shouldn't do intermittent fasting. Oh, because and, of hormonal issues. Got it. Yeah, and you're saying it, it that it's not true. It doesn't. Yes. Yes. And none of my women have these issues, but I also make sure that my members get like the proper like fat intake and protein. And a lot of times, like women try to go on no fat diets, or they do some like real. And I'm not saying just women men too. Um, they do some like real wonky things when trying to fit into that dress really quickly or, yes. or cut down. And, and that's where a lot of people screw up. So I, I give more info than, you know, eat at this time. And I don't even tell people to eat at one time or another. I, I give people options and explain. It's more of a choose your own adventure to fit your lifestyle. And right. you don't have to, you don't have to do one meal a day, but for some reason, most of my members end up gravitating towards one meal a day. Because it's fun. Because if you can have a big bowl of pasta with anything even, you want on it, it's fun. Even two meals isn't bad, but I right. mean, everybody just wants. To, I guess you're right. Everybody just wants to do the one massive meal, and I do have people doing two. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, and also you've the way you've made you've made it look appealing. And I think that oh, a lot of us, two meals is not, un if, if one meal seems unreasonable, two meals really isn't. Because if you have, if your breakfast is a coffee-based breakfast and not that much food, and then you get to eat like a big meal, however you mm -hmm. space it, that's not bad at all. It's really not. Um, but it's, people have fun again with dieting. Like I have like, um, right. I have one girl her, she went and bought five boxes of cereal and her kids were looking at her like, what is wrong with you? Like she would never buy cereal before. And then, and she was always, always making like low carb pizza. And then she was making yeah. regular pizza and her kids were like, mom, like, what are you doing? And, and she's, but this is all the people. They're all having fun again. And some people get really crazy from the beginning. They're, they're miss Taco Bell. They miss, they miss all these places. They start going to all these fast food places, which I teach, but I don't like, I don't recommend you, you eat out every meal at, at um, fast food joints. I mean, it's right, part of, of the proper nutrients. Yeah. 
Of course, that wouldn't make any sense. That would be, yeah, no, 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 of course. But, um, but I think what you're doing is great. I think the, what you said about making diets fun or making your diet fun, I think is really important. If you can make it a game, it's all going to be much more doable. If you can make it not a burden, then you're going to want to do it. It's that like anything else. Yeah, it's, it's the type of diet that when you get to your goal weight, you keep doing the diet. It's not, it's not like the type right. of diet like, oh, counting down the days until you're done. Right. <laughs> until you're done and you're just going to totally screw up whatever progress you might have made. It's, right. um, it's just enjoyable. I mean, it's a different lifestyle. Yeah, well, I think it's really amazing what you've created, this community you've created, and that you've taken your passion and turned it into the Blake Diet. I think it's very cool. And it's a lot of us have a story to tell and information to give, and not enough of us share it. And I think it's cool that this is what you're doing. I appreciate it. It's, a, it's yeah. been a long time in the making. Well, you might, I hope you feel proud of yourself. I hope that you get how cool it is and that it's hard to stand out in a sea of people on the internet and everywhere. You know, it's pretty, pretty freaking great. I am. I am very proud of myself. I am. And I appreciate it. Um, do you have time for one quick phone call from one of my listeners? Um, yeah, go ahead. Okay. Let's see. What... Hey, Sal. Hi. Hi, quickly, what's your question? Uh, Blake, I've been following you for a long time, uh, about to start the, the diet. Do, do some people who start the diet, when they do the one meal a day, are they not able to finish it? Do you have that? Do some people have that problem? <laughs> oh, here's, here's the thing, Sal. I always, in my tutorials, I teach people how to, that if you want to do one meal a day, that's really the end goal, and I you know, rec give people recommendations on how to transition that route, like the smoothest way possible. But however, it's always like the first day or like second, third day into it, people are like, couldn't finish my food. I'm like, why, <laughs> <laughs> why are you doing one meal a day? Slow down. Like, I just got right. so excited. I mean, don't get me wrong, Sal. It's a great problem to have if you're doing a diet where you can't finish your weight loss meal. But I always recommend a slower transition. Thanks for calling, Sal. Thank you. Yeah, no, that's hilarious. That makes sense. Um, Blake, thank you for being on my show. Again, go to theblakediet.com. Go to Blake underscore 201 on Instagram if you don't already follow Blake. He's terrific. And, uh, and youtube.com slash Blake underscore 201. Thank you for being on my show. Hey, thank you for having me, Jenny. Talk All right, I'll see you online. Bye, buddy. Bye.